Now, Emma Can See. Written and illustrated by Tang Hoi Lam Allison. Emma the Velociraptor lived in a quaint and poor village. She liked to stay in her cozy house, sipping coffee in a red armchair near the fireplace. Emma had no desires. She had everything, except for good eyesight. While her neighbors were struggling for shelter, food, and warmth, Emma only saw herself and her own needs. She didn't care about the needs of her neighbors. One day, feeling hungry, Emma dragged herself into the kitchen to cook a fine steak. As she strained to read the cookbook, she misread the cooking time as 75 minutes instead of 15 minutes. She overcooked and burnt the steak. A kind-hearted wizard saw, more likely smelled, this while passing by the kitchen. With a flick of his wand, he appeared in Emma's kitchen. Stunned and amazed, Emma asked, who are you? How did you come in? Ignoring her question, he sniffed the air and asked, Hmm, you've burnt your steak. Did you misread the cookbook because of your poor eyesight? Emma was flabbergasted and quite confused. She protested, Surely you've been spying on me. How do you know about my poor eyesight? The wizard grinned. Because I'm a wizard, and wizards know everything. He continued, I also know exactly what you need. We will throw a potion together to make you see better. Emma excitedly agreed. Into a big pot, the wizard dumped mint, lavender, three bitter gourds, a lizard's tail, a pair of frog legs, and a bunch of guarana fruits that looked like eyes. As they were making the potion, Emma kept arguing and interrupting, even though she knew nothing about the matter. Emma thought, I'm much better at the wizard's job than he is. She tried to snatch the ladle from the wizard. While they were pulling and pushing each other for the ladle, Emma knocked over the entire pot. Nearly all of the potion was spilled onto the floor. Looking at the spillage, Emma began to cry. She regretted her arrogance and ruthlessness and said, I'm really sorry. I've messed up everything. It's hopeless now. For the first time in her life, she wholeheartedly apologized. Not quite, said the wizard. Remember, I am a wizard. The wizard scooped a spoonful of the liquid from inside the pot and asked Emma to take a sip. It was a clear purple liquid that smelled like a mixture of lavender and mint and tasted sour and bitter. She hesitated for a second and swallowed it in one gulp. Emma opened her large and sparkly eyes and her vision was clear. As she looked around, she saw a frail elderly dinosaur begging for food outside her house. He was shivering in the snow. For the first time, Emma's heart went out to a needy neighbor the wizard locked eyes with Emma and suggested, Let's help him. Emma nodded. Without hesitation, she baked a pizza while the wizard prepared a pitcher of water. Then Emma walked out onto the cold, snowy pavement, making her way to the dinosaur. She kindly handed him the meal and water. The dinosaur was grateful. He gobbled up the food in one go. 
Emma thanked the wizard for healing her eyesight. The wizard pleasantly said, Now you can see well with your eyes. Better than that, you can also see well with your heart. <laughs>